Here we are today with the Roland Juno GI. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to initialize a, a rhythm pattern so you can record into it and create your own patterns. So, here we go. Get your to front screen. Alright. First thing you want to do, you want to get into uh, recorder view. So this, this button over here to the right. So I hit recorder view. That puts us in the digital recorder now. Now, this is where your rhythm patterns are. So, what you want to do is we want to get into that phase there. So, I'm going to hit button number five. It says rhythm. Hit that button there. This is the preset one that's there. Um, it's a rock one. So, if we want to create our own, we have to get into the pattern edit. So, you're going to hit this button here. You, you hear it starts playing all automatically. Just hit the stop button. Now we need to initialize this so we can have our own. So we're going to hold down the shift button. Hold down shift. And under brass win button number six, it's going to say init. Hit that button there. Then hit execute under button number five. And now we're going to have a blank slate. So there's nothing in here. We can basically input our notes that we want to create our own rhythm pattern. So the rhythm pattern is however you want to be. You could create an intro, verse, you know, outro, outro, whatever you want it to be. And by default, the Juno GI, when you initialize a rhythm pattern, it's 4-4 four, four in time and it's for two measures. So if you want to change that, you hit the setup button under button number one. You'll see it's 4-4 four, four. for how many measures? Two. So you just cursor using the arrows up and down. Just turn the dial to where you want it to be for your pattern beat. Uh, cursor down to the measure length. Change it for three measures, two measures. Well, I'm just going to leave it at the default two. So I'm going to hit close, get out of here. Um, you can see these are just your basic note set. It's, it's, since it's at 4-4, four, four, it's going to do it at 1 16th. Um, you could change the note type, quarter note, half note, whatever, you know, triplets. So I'm going to leave it at 1 16th here. So, and then you could clear your notes. This is your step. We're not worried about that right now. But, so let's go ahead and lay down a couple of things here. So to lay down notes, you have to, um, you hit the note. So I want, I want a kick here. I got to insert that. So I have to hit the enter button. So over here. So I'm going to hit the, I'm gonna hit the enter button. And it puts a note there. But now, say I want it to be on, just my first measure, and I want to, you know, four beats in that measure. I got to, I'm going to curse them. and lay down four real quick here. So it's, you know, every four. Now, if I want to hear it, I just hit play. So it's only playing for one measure. So I go ahead and hit stop. If I want to add something, another note, hit play. Yeah, I get cursor to the notes area I want. Just hit enter and insert my notes. And if I want to go to the next measure, I hit I use the fast forward and rewind buttons over here. This is to go back. And then if I want to go to the next measure, this is blank. I hit the fast forward and you see it's blank. I still hear my first measure. I can add some more notes. So I want to add some hi hats on here. Again, you just insert them. Hit the enter button.
So here we go. I just laid a couple, just real simple, four, four, two measures. We go back to my very beginning. There's my other notes. So it's playing two measures at four, four. And then if I like what I hear, I just hit stop and I can write this. So I'm gonna hit stop. Now I'm gonna write this as a rhythm pattern. And to save it, I hit the button that says write. It says a knit phrase because it was blank. I'm just gonna change a couple of letters, just turn the dial. You know. So. Let's then say there's there's the name I gave it. I hit nets. And it's going to ask me what location I want to save it to. Since it's my first one, naturally I probably want to go to number one. I'm going to hit right under button number six. This is right. I'm going to hit execute. So there's my new pattern I just created. User 001, that's the name I gave it. If I want to play it, I can hit the, I can do that. Or if I actually want to see it. Just hit the pattern edit button. I got you see my notes. It's gonna start playing. There it go. Pretty much that simple. It's, uh, if I want to create another one, then I just have to go ahead. Same thing. Repeat. If I want to create a a new um, blank pattern to build, again I hold down shift. I hit init. Hit execute. And there it's blank again. And my other one is still there because I saved it to a user location that I could call up for anything else. So that's pretty much that simple. Again, you have to be in the recorder view, so make sure this is lit. Um, make sure you go into rhythm. And then just go into pattern edit, and you're all set there. And, you, and see, I just went back to my one I initially saved. It's still there. I go back, there you go, still there. So, that's creating a rhythm pattern within the Roland Juno GI. Have a good day.